Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Indian Dev. I am Ayush. So guys, in this in this series of React JS, the complete course, we are learning every concept like from the very basic to the intermediate and to the advanced level. So this is uh, the uh, the uh, like I guess the tutorial for working with forms in React. So lastly, we have worked with events in React. We have worked with the state and state manipulation. How we gonna play with the state so yes if you guys haven't watched those video about state and events then you must go there and uh, and, and watch in that playlist and uh, like uh, if you guys have already watched then we can jump on to the topic of this video uh, like before jumping on to that uh, that uh, particular topic that is working with the forms if you guys are new to my channel then please make sure to subscribe to the Indian dev and if you guys have already subscribed then uh, you guys can follow me over instagram as well where i'm constantly like pushing the updates for the web development here you can see that javascript or react and uh, like a lot of stuff is there in on instagram that is i'm constantly like updating so yes you guys can follow me over there now uh, like let's move on to the topic that is working with the forms so this is again like you must be familiar with this code because in the last video we was working with the same with the same code so this is the component in which I am having this this UI that is responsible for this particular form and here you can see that in this form I am having a label for username, input for username, label for password, input for password and a button which is responsible for login. So lastly we were working with the state manipulation so I will just remove uh, this state manipulation thing and as we are working with form we are always having a method on submit that uh, you must be clear from from html point of view itself so what i will do is whenever i'm gonna submit this form i will make a call on this on login click method so i'm just removing it from here now the thing is like let's see i just wanted to like demonstrate a behavior of html a uh, forms that we're gonna see so uh, like if I refresh this page and uh, uh, if I get the like if I just look at this login button so if I will submit this particular form from log clicking on login then then I must get the console log for my state that is working with forms so let's see what's gonna happen so yeah I have clicked on on login and there was some blinking in my console log and then after it has been like a remove so like what happened at the back end let's see like here in the url section you can see that uh, if i go to localhost port number 3000 then if i click on this login then that is uh, that is the like uh, basic behavior of html forms then that if i am gonna submitting this form then it will uh, like perform some action so if you uh, like have a look on the url then you will see that a question mark is there that is again for like uh, what needs to be happen with this form submission so whenever there is any event then we gonna receive this event variable in that uh, particular method so i will be receiving this event in order to like uh, preventing this default behavior of uh, like html forms we need to write or we need to call the method event dot prevent default this method will uh, like uh, prevent the default way of uh, the html forms now if i go to the same url and if i click on login then there will be no action performed and my console log is here so this was one thing that i was just wanted to demonstrate to you because on the in the in the very beginning of a react you must be confused that why it's happening so yes you should know that what's happening at the at the very basic level so this was the thing now what i want is like if i write something in the username and password then at the time of uh, clicking or submitting this form i must receive uh, this content so that in case if i talk about any usual thing or any practical example just consider that, that this is the form for instagram login then uh, on the login click i must be calling some of the some instagram apis for login so i must have the information about username and password so one thing is i can extract it from like directly interactive in the dom but instead of doing that uh, like uh, that uh, basic approach 
what we will be doing we will be keeping all the data of my form into the state so that whenever i i'm uh, going to click on login then i can access my state and i i can provide that data to the api so let's see how we can do is so for that i am i will be using the event handler for uh, the input text that is input on change so on change i will be calling a method uh, this dot on text change maybe okay so i'll be creating a method on text change it will be an arrow function and as i've said uh, said that in the the any event driven method i'll be receiving this event and uh, if i just console log here console dot log event and i'm going to extract the thing from the events target and the value of that target so i have like added the event handler on my uh, like this username so let me check if i write my name here ayush then you will see that in the, in the console like i am uh, like constantly receiving the events from this input that is like when uh, i write ayush then uh, the a a y a y u a y s a y s h so all these events has been received so uh, like what i can do is i can simply update these events into my state but before that like it is not necessary but for the clarification what i can do is i can keep like two variables in my state two variables in my state and i'll be updating the username from this value so this way if i refresh this i write a y u s h then i i am sure that this text that is a y u s h has been updated to this uh, like property of the state that is username so if i click on login and then on submission of this form i will be receiving the console log of state let's see that it has been updated to the state or not so yes you can see here that heading is working with forms password is still empty and username is updated to ayush now like it's, uh, uh, that's how we have received all the data from this form to the state similarly we can do the same thing with the with the password uh, password input field as well but the thing is like uh, here i cannot hard code this uh, this property name that is username but uh, because if i am hard coding this then i need to create another method for password uh, on change event so what i will do is i will try to uh, like i will try to make it configurable or we can say dynamic so for that i will be assigning the id to each of the input field so what i've done is i have provided the ids now what i can do is instead of hard coding this username i'll be using event dot target and the id of that target so what it will do is if i am uh, like calling this method for uh, username uh, input field then it will be updating the username key and if i am calling this from the uh, like the password input field then it will be updating the password state variable so let's see how it's going to work if i am writing ayush k now the password is ayush at the rate 123 now let's see if I, it has like updated the username and pa password so boom guys here you can see that username and password like is updated uh, correctly that uh, the way that we have thought that it uh, it will work so this way like uh, our form can have like multiple input fields our form has can have like a radio button or any conditional thing that we can manipulate or th that we can have uh, like uh, working with our state so yes it was all about it was all about working with the forms now uh, uh, like from this login click method i'm having my state so i can pass on this data to any of the api call maybe it is uh, for the like google login maybe it is for the instagram login or any of the system that you are building this way you can you can work with the forms the form can be uh, like anywhere any for uh, submitting any sort of information so yes guys if you guys have uh, like learned any of the concept from this video then please make sure to subscribe to this video uh, sorry please make sure to like to this video 
and if you guys are new to my channel or instagram then please make sure to subscribe and follow thank you for watching this video guys thank you very much